Deputy Ministerial Group on Coal Blocks will meet today again to decide the fate of six more mines. This story is far from over. Now, these include private firms that were issued notices for delaying production till now. The IMG has recommended the cancellation of seven coal blocks to the coal ministry. That number is set to rise. That's right. The names of the firms under the scanner have not been revealed though, but Interministerial Group has recommended cancellation of coal blocks that include Himachal EMTA Power, JSW Steel, SKS Ispark and Power and Bhushan Steel. The panel has also recommended reduction of bank guarantee in the case of blocks that were allotted to companies like Gupta Metalix and Power Limited and several others. Now, the IMG is scrutinizing 29 blocks awarded to private firms out of a total of 58 that were issued show cause notices for delay in developing mines. Some of these firms also find a mention in the CAG report that have recently estimated undue benefits to the tune of 1.86 lakh crore to the exchequer. Well, even as government's trying hard to clean up the Colgate mess, more and more dirt continues to surface. Headlines today has got exclusive access to details of an interministerial group meeting that exposes foul play by several coal companies. The IMG draft note reveals how despite getting all clearances, no attempts were made to mine coal, while companies who got those blocks made big profits and exited. As a matter of fact, many of those companies haven't even uh, presented their case in front of the interministerial group because they're already out of the loop having sold their coal field rights. While the coal secretary opposed an en masse cancellation since in many cases companies cited lack of environmental clearances as reason for not being able to start production, but the interrogation of the coal block owners exposes that the reasons go beyond just of squatting. According to details available with headlines, today as many as 12 blocks did not start production despite all regulatory clearances. Not only that, the primary owners of all these blocks fully booked their profits and exited these ventures. In fact, representatives of eight out of these 12 blocks did not even depose before the interministerial group. The final decision for deallocation of blocks lies with the coal ministry now. 28 blocks might escape the IMG acts as they fall in environment ministries, no go zones, and seven blocks in national hit areas, which are very difficult to approach.